hi there, Nikki Butler here, skin and scar specialist. Just wanted to record a video for you about inflammatory skin conditions. So last month we saw Rosacea Awareness Month and this month, June, is Acne Awareness Month. And I see an awful lot of content and posts about treatments for acne and skincare for acne, um, same for rosacea. And actually what both of these conditions are, are typically inflammatory conditions that will start from an imbalance within the body. Now, things like treatments and skincare will help, they will make a small difference. But if you're not addressing the root cause of what's causing um, the inflammatory skin condition, then you're going to see very limited results. And you could actually get into a cycle of having expensive treatments to try and manage what you're seeing on your skin. And then every time you try and stop, it flares back up because things like IPL, skin rejuvenation, for example, are fantastic for acne and for rosacea. But actually, if we're not looking at what the internal triggers are, then you're, you're going to continue to see that showing up on your skin. You're going to continue to have flare ups and you'll find you're going between the cycle of your skin settling down and flaring back up again. So there are a number of reasons that you can experience inflammatory skin conditions, but essentially what they're showing you is something is out of balance within the body. It could be down to food intolerances. It could be down to hormonal imbalances or medications or medical conditions that you have. There's any number of influencing factors. It can also be down to using very aggressive skincare, which is something I see a lot with my clients that have um, acne in particular, because they're trying to get everything under control and using more and more harsh products. And actually what that's doing is damaging the natural barrier of the skin. So more bacteria is getting in, the skin's becoming more irritated, it's more susceptible to UV damage. So all of those things make a huge difference. And then with uh, rosacea, I've seen clients that can't actually even bear water on their skin because their skin is so sensitive, let alone using something like a sunscreen. And so when your skin is in that state and you're exposed to UV rays, it's damaging, degrading, uh, breaking down collagen and the natural healthy barrier of the skin. And so it's being exacerbated by the fact you literally can't use anything on your skin. So what I would suggest for anyone that has inflammatory skin condition, this sounds really boring, but it's really important, is to start to keep a skin diary. And I would say over a period of 12 weeks, a skin diary that includes looking at what your skin's doing, your lifestyle. So for example, if you're going out, if you're drinking alcohol, if you're having late nights, if you're stressed, um, you know, any medication changes, things like antibiotics. So just note all of that down and your nutrition, your diet. And that can often be really, really key. So with uh, nutrition, people often associate something they ate one or two days ago with spots or breakouts or um, inflammation. But actually it could be something that you ate several days ago because that inflammation is in the body and then it's gonna show up on your skin. So just keeping that simple diary can really help to identify patterns and that's really what you're looking for. So you can start to kind of see, okay, if you drink red wine or if you have a late night and you're stressed, um, if you eat a certain type of food, there's a pattern when your skin is then breaking out. Hormones are also a huge thing. And uh, particularly what I see a lot of is women that are going through perimenopause and menopause where their hormones are changing and they have imbalances and they're experiencing inflammatory skin conditions like an exacerbation of existing rosacea, new rosacea, skin sensitivities or acne. Um, and it's really important to look at trying to balance those hormones whether that's through HRT or whether you choose to go down an alternative therapy route, until you really bring those hormones back into balance, you're going to keep going through a cycle where you're seeing the inflammation show up on your skin. I'm not a hormone specialist, but if you do need a referral to um, a specialist GP, I can make some recommendations for you. But I just wanted to give you the overview that essentially your skin is the largest organ of your body. It's a reflection of everything that's happening, inter happening internally and also how it reacts to external factors. So I'm a big believer in treating your skin from the inside out and the outside in because understanding what's causing the issues, then being able to make the informed decisions to get your skin under control 
And then really like your products are your icing on the cake. And for me, with a lot of my clients, um, I don't offer IPL skin rejuvenation anymore, but I can recommend people that do. But when I did offer uh, IPL treatments, it was quite rare for me to treat somebody specifically for rosacea uh, or acne with treatments, because when we'd been through this 12 week process of reviewing the skin, introducing some supplements sometimes to help reduce inflammation or balance the gut, and we were looking at external lifestyle factors, and then getting the right skincare in place, there was not a need for treatment. So really, if you're looking for someone to support you with rosacea or acne or, or inflammatory skin conditions, please talk to your professional skincare person about looking at all of those different factors. And if they can't help you specifically with things like nutrition or lifestyle, they may be able to refer you to somebody that can. But it's really important that you address that, address that inside out and outside in to get the best results. Really, really hope that helps. Feel free to reach out to me on any of my socials or you can drop me an email, which is nikki at nikkibutler.co.uk. Have a great day.